Ready to see this full of hemp? Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather see it full of hemp than chickens. Rather see it full of hemp than chickens, absolutely. Yeah. When it became obvious that the business was not something that made financial sense, we decided to bite the bullet and shut down the chicken houses and look for some sort of a different option. Uh, we decided that we'd grow hemp and go from killing animals to growing something, from destroying things to creating things. So today's October 7th, we put these in the ground on July 11th, so it's just under three months that they've been in the ground. And we had our final tests done this last week, and it came out at 0.26 THC and about 9.5% CBD, which is right under the 0.3 threshold. So it's time to get these on out of the ground, which is sooner than we expected. We thought it might be late October, possibly early November. Luckily, it is sooner than we expected because of the damage that we had from the uh, worms, the army worms and cornea worms. Uh, and so we'll be able to get them out and save as much of the crop as possible. We're looking at it taking maybe two to four days to pull all the plants and hang them. Uh, since we've never done it before, it's gonna be a, you know, learning, learning on the job, trial by error sort of thing, but hopefully we can get them all uh, up and ready in about four days. This is the very first successful transformation. There's 12 chicken houses and they used to house tens of thousands of suffering animals and now they're gonna dry hemp. And that's just so beautiful to see the transformation, the possibilities that can come when people come together and try to find solutions. I want the farmers to know I'm really with them, you know, I really am going to get my hands dirty, I'm going to sweat, I'm going to work hard to make the chicken houses turn into something that they can make money off of, that can sustain the land and their families. It's so beautiful today, all their kids are coming back out and the brother and sisters are back together and everyone's back here and it's such a moment of creation and growth rather than destruction and death, and I just want to be part of that. Nobody's grown in this part of the country in over a hundred years, and people right now are just figuring it out. You talk to a lot of old timers, they're all from California, so they can give you a lot of ideas how to grow if you're in California, but this is a different climate. And so definitely you want to talk to somebody who's done it before and start small, start with maybe a half acre. If I had to do it again, I probably would have done a half acre instead of a full acre just to get my feet wet. I could have spent more time on individual plants that way to really uh, learn the process and, and get it down. But once uh, you learn how to do it, I. 
I think it's a, a great opportunity. Growing something just changes your heart compared to killing something. And this whole process has transformed a family that really, I think, was in despair for a very, very, very long time and has transformed it into something now that is, is thriving and is connected and close.